Let's turn in our Bibles to Hebrews chapter 4. Hebrews chapter 4. We've been looking at the attributes of God the Father, the theology, theology proper, the attributes of God and how the attributes of the Father relate to prayer. And we're also, uh, in a bit, we're going to consider the Holy Spirit and how the Spirit's ministry relates to prayer. But tonight, we want to look at the Son, Christ, and how his ministry, and we'll probably look at Christ for a couple of weeks, how his ministry affects our prayer lives, and it does so greatly. Uh, the New Testament has an awful lot to say about Christ, especially in the Gospels. We have his teachings on prayer, we have his example of prayer, uh, and there's an awful lot of material in the epistles as well about his role as our great high priest, as our mediator, and our example again. But tonight we want to focus on Christ as our high priest and make some connections to our personal prayer life. So let's look, Hebrews 4 and verse 14. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore... 